What's up? I'm Katie Bang and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. And if you're not, thank you so much for being part of my family. So, it's a Sunday afternoon. I filmed four videos and my SD card didn't want to work. So, <laughs> here I am with no makeup filming a video because we need to get it out. And thank you to my editor, Lucas, for being so amazing and working with me through all of my craziness. One thing I really want to disclaim before I start this video is not only am I a guinea pig and all of these personality things and 10 things I'm covering pretty much pertain to me personally, um, the second thing is I'm really excited and I hope you can subscribe to our channel because I hired a business coach, I've hired three more girls this week, my business is growing, my dog training stuff is growing, and we are about to start a TV show. Woo, we have so much going on that I'm just so pumped for and I would love for you to be a part of it. Okay, now let's get right on into the video. So, helping me out with today's video, this is Friday. He's one of my guinea pigs, and this is Monday. He's a, <laughs> you and your green bell pepper. He's another one of my guinea pigs. So, first off, you know that I have more than one guinea pig, and this is because guinea pigs are social creatures. Do you want your bell pepper? Guinea pigs are super social creatures. So what this means is since they're like a herd animal, they're not super comfortable all alone and by themselves. And so if you want to get a guinea pig, it is part of their proper care to own more than one of them. And on the topic of owning more than one guinea pig, you're going to need a big cage. So as far as guinea pigs go, you obviously can go to PetSmart and Petco and pick out a piggy but the guinea pig cages marketed there are not big enough for them. What I actually did is I got a bunny cage and a playpen, and the reason I did this is because it was big enough for two guinea pigs. If you want other options when it comes to building guinea pig cages, there's so many CNC like DIY cages you can do. You can build your own hutch, but you wanna make sure that you're giving them enough room. Okay, number three is they are loud. This is honestly the quietest my piggies have been, but happy piggies are usually chirpy. In the mornings when you go to give them their veggies, they are popcorning for you, which is pretty much just like chirping, popping around, saying, hey, I love life and I love you for giving me green bell peppers and my vitamin C every morning. So they have a lot of personality, which I personally love. I keep them in my office so I don't have to sleep with them in their loudness at night. But if you are sleeping with them, it is one thing you want to consider. Hey, they might be a little bit more loud in the mornings when they're excited, when they know that they're supposed to be getting their food. Number four is they are always eating. So you have to give them access to hay at all times because their bodies are meant to be foraging and grazing and like eating food all the time. So pretty much a guinea pig's food regimen should be access to like a bunch of hay at all times, fresh hay, access to fresh water at all times, and then fresh vegetables once a day, and a fourth a cup of pellets per guinea pig every single day. Okay, another fun thing about guinea pigs is they can't make vitamin C naturally. Dude, so you have to make sure that you are giving them vitamin C supplements. Green bell peppers have a lot of vitamin C, that's why they're one of my favorite vegetables to feed. But when it comes to fresh vegetables, another pointer is a lot of people give their guinea pigs lettuce and this can actually make their poop a little bit runny and be too high in water content. So you don't want like romaine lettuce or iceberg lettuce to be a very big staple in their veggie routine. Number six is that they love to explore. So guinea pigs are social, so not only should they be having another friend as far as another guinea pig with their life, but they should also be out of their cage at least an hour a day. They should be hanging out with their people and you know, just living their best lives all the time because they're social little babies, right? They're just so social. And they love to explore, so like I have a pen for mine outside and not in Arizona summers, but other than that, like when it's nice out, I give them about 30 minutes outside every single day. So on to number seven, guinea pigs have long teeth and long nails. So what does this look like for us? It means that we have to get them chews constantly to grind down their teeth. They need access to hay to continue to eat and grind down their teeth. And as a guinea pig owner, every other week you should be clipping their nails. Clipping their nails is super easy. The only problem is if they have black nails, you can... <laughs> dude, dude, 
If they have black nails, it can be a little bit more challenging because you can't see where the quicker their nerves are in their nails. But as far as clipping their nails, it's nothing too hard. You just take the little edge off so they're not too scratchy and they're not getting too long. Number eight is one thing that you have to accept about guinea pigs. They poop and pee a lot. We're feeding them a lot. They're naturally eating and drinking all the time. So you have to just expect that when you have them out, they're gonna poop on you, they're gonna pee on you. You're gonna have to spot clean their cage every single day to keep it clean and presentable. And that's just the nature of guinea pigs. So number nine and the most important thing besides all of their food and stuff, I would say is two of everything. And this is something I did not find anywhere when I was looking into getting guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are, can be territorial. And honestly, if you have two, which you have to have, you need to have two different places they can get water, two different hay boxes for them, two different bowls full of pellets. You have to have absolutely two of everything so that you don't give them a reason to fight. 10 is when you're getting guinea pigs, you should definitely look into males and females. I personally will only own males. I have two males, I love them to death, and I think they are the absolute best. So yeah, males are the way to go, females are the way to go, but do not mix them together because guinea pig babies are not the way to go. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you more than life itself. I am so excited for the growth that this YouTube channel is having, the growth that my business is having, the growth that the possibility of having a TV show on this YouTube channel of what a work day is like for me is having and I'm so pumped for everything and I feel like 2020 has been a year of complete growth for me and it has been crazy with the pandemic, getting my heart broken, all of the craziness, but it is so fun and so great and I love it more than anything and I would not change how much I've learned this year or give anything back to for the knowledge that I have now. So I'm so happy. I keep adding people to the Katie's Canines team, the Katie Bing team, and I'm so pumped for that. So thank you guys so much for being here and supporting me and Monday and Friday, and we will see you next video. Bye.